reasons. So this is why Dr. Kulatz and I call the root canal procedure a fatally flawed procedure. It's not flawed in the sense that it won't relieve pain. As I said, you take out the nerve and blood supply, you'll often eliminate the pain. But you absolutely assure, even if it wasn't present before, that you'll always end up with a chronic infected tooth and when it's in the molar area and you chew on it with the enormous pressures that the jawbone can, can generate, you push those pathogens and toxins into the bloodstream. <clears throat> a lot of us, including Dr. Huggins, knew this for a long time, but what makes this book compelling is in the last couple of years, there have been some incredible studies done in the literature. This one group in Finland actually studied patients that had heart attacks and that in angiography they got the blood clot causing the heart attack suctioned out. So they aspirated these blood clots that caused the heart attack and they analyzed these blood clots for the typical DNA that's associated with pathogens in root canals and gum disease. These clots had a huge concentration of these oral pathogens inside the clot, 16-fold more concentrated than, than in the blood that they came from. Now, you see in the literature, lots of people like to say, oh, well, this, this is a correlation, this is uh, an association. I think anybody that can look at this evidence and say that this huge concentration of pathogens and toxins inside the blood clot that forms to cause a heart attack is a correlation no more and not a cause and effect is just being irrational. I mean, you don't, you don't form a blood clot and then magically after the fact, pathogens or toxins from somewhere suddenly accumulate in the blood clot. They accumulate, it causes the clot to form, and it's some of the most smoking gun evidence that we've ever seen that shows that these pathogens and toxins in the root canal teeth and the gums, when you chew down, they glow into the bloodstream. They pass through the venous system and the pulmonary arteries, but the reason why they get in the coronary arteries is because the coronary artery is the first high pressure part of the vascular system that these pathogens and toxins.